Moon, Gemini, to your end of the month reading for July. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, hit that big old like button and subscribe. Okay, my friends, let's get in here and see what's going on with you. Best messages coming out for the end of the month. We have the Seven of Pentacles coming out. And let's see why the Seven of Pentacles is there. I'm going to use one of these cards. Talk about those long-term views. Sowing those seeds, waiting for those seeds to rise, to ripen, to come forward. It's about your desires with the Sacral Chakra. I love it. So it's saying this is where my desire is coming in. I desire this to come together. Really patiently waiting for this to come. Um, let's see. Let's fight on why that's there. Straight into the situation. There was some kind of recovery that's going on when it comes to the situation. It feels like you may be replanting your seeds. Um, so it was kind of like I waited and I waited and I'm patiently waiting because I had to redo these. I had to re-sow these seeds. Uh, these seeds were not coming in, so there definitely was some um, re, maybe, uh, what is it, like an adjustment, right, adjusting these, or maybe you just definitely went in a different direction. Right now, it feels like an adjustment, like I had to take some different kind of action. I had to really get, you know, get in there, replant these seeds, take more action on this situation, readjust where I'm going because it was um, a learning lesson, maybe. Because, I mean, the Ten of Swords in Reverse is a learning lesson. Maybe you've learned that this was not the way to plant these seeds. This was not going to work. So I learned a big lesson here about this situation. So, and there was an inevitable ending to maybe a relationship or it was inevitable that this was not going to work because it just never was done properly. And I took a big hit. It feels like you took a big hit. Um, and you learned a lot from that situation. Um, definitely feeling like there was a little bit of moodiness going on within the situation. It could be definitely a love situation over here, some kind of relationship where it says they were unreliable. That was very untrustworthy. I learned from this situation, um, right? And in the end, it was nothing but disappointment. So I do feel like in the love situation, you were planting seeds in this situation to find that inner happiness, that inner joy, um, but it was just always turning into dissatisfaction. For some of you, it feels like I gave them a chance. I gave them a chance. I gave it a chance, them or it a chance, and I gave them too much. So I really took a big hit, and I really learned my lesson from this situation. Yeah, because it caused me nothing but anxiety and worry. Yeah. So now it looks like you're getting past the crossroads over here. So you're really weighing the options. You're really looking at the situation from a different standpoint. You know, whether or not you're reworking the situation, depending on what it is, or getting away from a situation so that you can take action somewhere else. If you're dealing with a romantic partner, it could be I learned a lesson from them. I'm not going to deal with them anymore. There's a lot of trauma for some of you. If this is a relationship, this person could have caused a lot of trauma, okay? And you've given them way too many chances, okay? You've become very clear about the situation that you're not going to stay, stay or stand for this anymore. So, you know, there was a lot of anger, a lot of guilt. So it's like you're, you're in this self-acceptance that this is not going to happen and I'm freeing myself from this situation, planting my seeds somewhere else getting clear about this situation. There could be some new knowledge that is coming in and some new information about this situation. Um, and I do feel like because the, the way it's placed that it will come probably towards the beginning of the month. So you figure it'll be you got 31 days. So somewhere between the 31st and maybe the third, you're going to get this new information about what's going on within this situation. You guys could be dealing with a Gemini or an Aquarius. doesn't have to be. Yeah, 
was like you were overcommitted to the situation. There was a lot of impatience because of the disorganized um, behavior, the disorganization of the whole situation. Everything became very disorganized where you were trying to keep everything. It almost feels like you were trying to keep your ducks in a row. Um, and it just, every time you try to keep all your ducks in a row, it's just like there's always something disorganized. You're always falling out of place. Okay. Right? You just can't keep up with this situation. Remember, please, take what resonates, what doesn't resonate. Throw away. Okay, so you need to find the balance. Right now you're in the, this place of finding balance within your life to build the success that you need for yourself whether you are getting away from a situation and planting seeds to continue to move forward somewhere else, or you're reorganizing the situation so that it can become more balanced. Everybody's story is a little different, but it is talking about moving forward. You definitely have this forward motion where you know, I need more control of this situation because it's out of control. So it's saying that right now you're finding that balance. You're trying to find that reassurance and you're trying to take action to get back on track when it comes to this situation, wherever that movement is for you. Everybody's movement's gonna be a little bit different. So, but this is definitely having this finding peace um, from the personal setback. I do feel like you're dealing with another person um, for the majority of you. Let's see how they're feeling about the situation. I do feel like they're causing a lot of grief. There's a lot of high expectations from this person, but there's a lot of ruthless, impulsive behavior, um, and it feels like they are very detached from what um, they should be doing, right? Hold on, guys. I got a card on the floor. Very detached. It says they are recovering from this loss. It feels like they want to improve things with you, and they want that forgiveness from you. So it does feel... Like they have, they're definitely regretting the mistakes that they've made. It's almost like they've become clear about the situation. It's almost like, it's, it's, you know, it's crazy. As soon as we start moving on and we start doing ourselves and we start doing other things, it's almost like you don't know what you had until it's gone. It kind of feels like that situation. So it's like, like they're sitting within their quiet power over here. Um, but they there's a lot of mind games. Um coming out and a lot of callousness so even though they understand the truth and they do feel like they are regretting their mistakes I feel like it's regretting the stakes of how they use the mind games they know what they did wrong okay they know this was disorganized chaos they know what was going on within this situation they know that they you know manipulated you or used this weakness or took advantage of you They say they just want their dis domestic happiness back. If you guys were engaged, they you want to keep that engagement, even though it feels like the engagement is broke off because of the mind games. They want to start this all over with you. They want you to take a blind faith with them. They want to start this all over again. Um, if this is a career situation, that's just people. Let's look at it from a career situation. I'm trying to plant these seeds for things I desire. From career and other aspects of your life. Let's see what it is. This is you trying to get to the fruits of your labor where you have the comfort in rewards. Um, you becoming the nine of pentacles and working very hard towards that financial stability. Understanding, right, that there was definitely some, you may have been a little obsessive about getting to the situation, right? So you might even felt like in the end, um, planting these seeds to success. It's not working financially, right? And I took a big hit financially. Um, so you're rebalancing yourself and trying to find this sensible purpose within the situation of how this is going to work. And it says that you're just going to have to have more self-discipline. So it does feel like where you're getting stuck and it's starting to slow down, um, you understand the carelessness. Because it does say in the very beginning, I understand, right, where the learning lesson was. Like I said, whether this is the person or the finances, maybe it's two in one. Finances and relationships kind of hurt each other. Um, so take it how it is. Um, but it does feel like you're going to feel right now because you are reworking the situation that you are carrying on a lot. And that you're going to feel a lot 
a um, lot of stress, right? But I think with the patients that you're using now, that's also going to cut down a lot of the stress as you're reworking, right, and really trying to keep things balanced. When you have balance, you won't feel the stress as much because you'll say, this is what I have to do. It's a lot to get done, but I'll know how to do time management. The time management comes with the two of pinnacles. So you'll say, I have the time management. That way I don't feel as stressed. I'll know how to make this balance so I'm not feeling like I'm working with no end in sight. Because now you're saying, I can see the, com the completion, but it's going to take a lot of hard work. It just wasn't the kind of hard work. I thought I would be able to make this easier. So I feel like with the learning lesson, maybe you or some of you tried to take the easier route. Uh, maybe you thought it would take so for some of you, I feel like maybe you thought it was going to go by quicker. The Chariot is a very fast card. It's the fastest uh, major arcana in the deck, fastest card of the whole deck. So you may have felt like, if I do this, it's going to move very, 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 very fast. Like, for instance, if you have a YouTube channel, we would like to believe, right? We would like to believe that we could get our 1,000 subscribers and our 4,000 watch hours within a month or two, Right? doesn't work like that, okay? And everybody's story is a little bit different, right? Because I've, I've seen them. Some get it really fast, and some take a long time. My tarot channel moves very quickly. Um, I also did it during COVID, so I think I was blessed at the time since everybody was on the internet, couldn't go anywhere. So I feel like that was a major calling and a major blessing. But the second channel has been going up for three years. But see, I gave up. Right? So I feel like maybe you started giving up on this situation because you expected it to run at a certain speed. You expected it to pick up. You expected everything to come together. Even if it's a love situation, you expected everything to run smoothly and to get things done, but it didn't. If anything, it kind of tumbled in on itself and it just either became stagnant or it literally just became tumbling down. So you felt hopeless or there was a lot of trauma within the situation. You guys were not on the same page. But no matter what I want to say is it was hopeless and there was a lot of despair. Okay. And which ends up turning into worry and anxiety. How is this going to work? Is this going to work? Is that going to go that way? So it's saying now you're pushing yourself towards the wealth of the passion. So it's almost like you're refining the passion. Guys, if you're working on a YouTube channel, it takes a long time. Even if, you know, even if you only have, I mean, seriousness, if you have 24 subscribers in one month, you're doing fantastic. Okay? If you've had that channel up for four months and you have 34, 24 people, you're still doing very good. But it is discerning. And it hurts. And it's despair. So when things start slowing down, and then don't pick up, that's when we all want to give up. So Spirit is saying, try again. Rework the situation. Don't give up. Just do something different. Try to get things out there. Look at what you're doing. Take different kinds of action. Use more creativity. Especially if, you know what I'm saying? Especially if it's a work situation. Especially if it's a creative project. Even if it's love, maybe you can spice it up. Heat it up. Bring it back together. If this is you getting out of a relationship, because we don't really know exactly, because it's saying nothing 100, it's saying there's so much more love out there for you. Don't give up on love. Move forward to find that love. Don't let one person, you know, um, traumatic behavior and demeanors and all the bad things that they do keep you away from love. Because not everybody's like that, right? Yeah, a lot of delays, a lot of frustration, but you have the Empress coming up. So it says, out of all of these delays and all of this, all of this frustration, as long as you keep moving forward and you go after your passion and your love and do what you need to do, you will become the Empress. Okay, you are getting exactly the accomplishments that you need. There's a lot of healing. There's a lot of everything going on. Okay. A lot of nurturing. Nurture yourself. Have this awareness to choose your own happiness. You know, it's, it's going to come down to you in the end. 
because in the end, no one can really truly make you happy but you yourself. So it says, make sure that you are transitioning and moving on for the change. If you need to end this relationship to move yourself into healthy, calmer waters, go ahead and do so. If you know this is a relationship you need to fix, spice it up, come together, have realizations, whatever it is, right? But you need to release that negative energy, release that so that you can have the peace and the love and, you know, the calmness. And if this reading is for you, you already know what it is. Okay. And that message coming out is you will have victory over the situation. Your victory is already, it's already there. It's already there. Grab it. Grab it with a new vitality. Grab it with a happiness. Grab it with the Ace of Wands. You have this opportunity to grab what is yours. Everybody has the opportunity to have the victory. It's not that some people have victory and others don't. It's about how we go about grabbing what's already ours. There's only two scenarios within life since we live in a world of duality. You either don't have victory or you do. So you either go to the left or go to the right. The right door says this is where your victory is. The left door says this is where your victory is not. There's no such thing as we never get victory. It's about how you go about getting it what steps you take, right? And so it says that no matter what, you have victory. So go get your victory, right? And do it with the new vitality, that, that passion that you have within yourself. Light that flame and get in there. It's already yours. Till next time, my friends. Peace and love. Bye-bye.